Hey guys, last week we talked about the walleye spawn. This week we're going to talk about their cousin, the yellow perch. The yellow perch take a little different plan when it comes to spawning. We talked about the walleye and like how they like to spawn on gravel shorelines. Well, the perch, what they do is they deposit their eggs on submerged vegetation. So, the perch spawn a little bit after the walleye. They spawn when it's late 40s, into 50s, possibly into the lower 60s. But again, photo period is also very critical to perch as it is to walleye. So then what they'll do is the perch will come in and they lay egg sacs all over the submerged vegetation. Now this is going to be from the previous year because as this is happening in spring, the growing season hasn't taken hold yet. So that's why water levels are so critical. If the water levels are low and they can't reach the submerged vegetation, they have nowhere to lay their eggs and the wind is going to blow them all across the lake and we're going to have very poor recruitment. However, when the water levels are high and there's adequate submerged vegetation for them to lay their eggs on and then we have a good wind, then that is when we are going to have an excellent year and that is the type of situations that we see year in and year out in South Dakota. The perch are very cyclic and that is because of these weather patterns. So, once again, perch eggs are going to have a very low survival. However, if we do have a good year, the perch can get very abundant and that is when we're going to experience excellent fishing for many years down the road.